Hi, everybody. Today we teach you to upgrade is the Lexus's. This is its regional car control. This is the upgrade after the appearance. It supports wireless CarPlay and Android Auto. After connecting, you can call here, listen to songs, use online map navigation and many other mobile phone applications. So, do you want to know how to upgrade? Please follow the video. First, we rotate the gear grip left. Then remove the black decorative strips on both sides. Then we open the gear panel. The back of the plug does not need to be removed. The panel only need to put aside on the line. Now we remove the two screws that fix the cigarette lighter panel and remove the cigarette lighter panel. Now we unscrew the two screws below the bottom of the original car screen panel. Remove the air outlet. Then remove the two screws above the original car is screen panel. Now we will remove the original car screen panel. Unplug it on the back of the plug. This is what it looks like after it is removed. To start the installation, we first install these two metal accessories to the back of the new car radio. Now we remove the metal support of the original screen. The original car screen host is separated from the CD host, and then its two metal supports are reinstalled on the CD host. Now we begin to connect the wire and insert the two adapters of the new wire into the CD host. Insert the keypad plug into the new screen. Then we connect the screen power supply head. Connect the communication serial port line. Connect this canvas box. Connect the OBD interface cable. Then the other end is inserted into the original car OBD interface. Now connect the other wires. This is the GPS antenna. This is the video input line. This is a USB transmission line. It has to. Then connect the RCE line. The red and white plugs on the power wire are connected to the AUX in plug of RCE. Now we connect the new wire to the original car plug according to the size. Then reinsert some plugs of the original car CD host back. Then the two plugs of the new wire are connected to the plug of the original car. Plug the original car radio antenna back. After all connected, install the new screen and fix it. Now reinstall the air outlet. Reinstall the cigarette lighter panel.
Reinstall the gear panel. Then reinstall two decorative strips. Finally, we reinstall the gear grip. OK, now has been installed. Before use, we need to set the canvas. We enter settings factory settings input password entry canvas settings select. Protocol options select the vehicle select the corresponding model you click to determine. Note that the first setting needs to be connected to the network. After the setting is completed, you can use the No Screen button to control the original car air conditioning. In addition, it has many other features. You can use local or online maps. You can listen to your favorite radio station. Preserve the original car CD function. In addition, it can also adjust the tone of the sound and set the size of the sound heard in the car seat. Okay, this video is here. Thank you for watching.